Hello everybody, Andrew Majewski here with Dental Health Tutoring. So it is the end of September, early October already. I don't know where the time has gone. It will be Halloween, Thanksgiving, and then Christmas before we know it. Um, so yeah, so even if you're not thinking about which way you want to take things, so um, either having to submit your portfolio or having to take the quality assurance um, exam. This is something that you need to be thinking of now because you will only have until the end of the year to do either one. And if you're going to do the portfolio, well, you probably should have started now because it does take a lot of um, organizing and, and having to, to get your courses and everything together, probably having to take some um, additional courses online if you do not have your full um, 75 hours in over the past three years. But if that sounds very overwhelming to you, then you probably want to attempt your quality assurance exam instead. So um, a lot of people ask me, what do I have to know to pass this exam? Because you want to take it and you want to pass, right? Because if you don't pass, well, you might not be able to keep your license and that's very important. Even if you've taken the board exam, let's say a couple years ago, the quality um, assurance exam is different. It's not the same thing. Even if you've been a dental hygienist for 30 years, you, you might think you know everything that's related to dental hygiene, but the quality assurance exam is about um, textbook answers. You know, I hate, I hate to say it, but it's true. So textbook answers. Now, I don't want you all to have to buy that, you know, $300 textbook that you're probably only going to use for the exam. And then that's it, right? That, that doesn't make a lot of sense. And there's no way that you would be able to go through everything anyway, in enough time or know what to study for the exam. So, uh, sorry guys, just one second. I'm just going to take some water here. I've been sick for the past week, so I probably shouldn't be talking so much, but I'm finally starting to feel a lot better. So who, um, who is this quality assurance practice quiz for? So this is a quiz that I have made for um, you to take. You, you do not have to pay anything. And this will give you a good indication of what you have to know for the quality assurance exam. If you do not well on the quiz, then you know, okay, I need help. If you do well, then you are obviously on the right track. So this is for you if you are um, taking the quality um, assurance exam and you, obviously, and you don't know what to study for because you haven't taken the exam yet. And let's just say you do not do well on the quiz that's okay because I can help you. So I do have a full um, quality assurance study um, course also. So I'm just going to click that for one moment and I'm actually going to have some more water while I click that. Sorry guys. I'm trying not to lose my um, voice, but that might not happen. I think I might be doing it anyway. <laughs> but um, so yeah, so this course has everything. So I have pretty much taken our textbooks and we have many of them and I put it all in to m much easier studying for you. So you don't have to read a textbook. That is probably the worst thing you could do because you don't know what chapters to actually look at. So I'm going to walk you guys actually inside the course too. So it has so everything is pretty much um, I'm divided into modules. So module one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and there's a mock exam at the end also, plus some nice um, quick access um, study uh, materials too. So then that way, if you just wanted to kind of look at something quickly, um, look looking up a key word as an example, these are the ones that you want to look at because you do need to know a little bit of everything for the quality assurance exam, but it's not the same 
as taking your um, bar exam. So depending on how long you've been in practice for, you might have taken the, uh, the board exam um, two years ago, 10 years ago, but it's not the same thing. So you do have to know enough, but you don't have to know as much as that. So does that make sense so far? Okay, so some of the common questions are, so how long will I have access to everything? You have full, full access to everything for a good six months. Meaning, so if you sign up now and then say, well, I'm not gonna have time to look at everything until maybe October, maybe November, that is okay because you have full access to everything for a good six months. So you can look at everything as quickly as you want or just, you know, um, take your time. It's totally up to you. Um, another um, common question is, well, how you know long should I take to study for this exam? So I have had people tell me um, last year that they studied for two weeks using this course and they were able to pass. But then I had other people tell me that they studied for two months and they were able to pass. So I don't like telling people it will, it will only take you two weeks or it will take you the full two months, you know, three months because your study schedule will be different. If you work full-time, well, you probably won't be studying as much. If you work part-time, then you'll probably be studying more than somebody, you know, who works full-time. So what I suggest people do is to look through every single module one by one and do not move on until you, you have done module um, one. And that doesn't mean that this will take you a day or, or it, it, it might take you two days, it might take you six days. You know, everybody's different, but clearly module two is a little bit longer, so it will probably take you a little bit longer. Module three isn't as long, but nobody likes to study this topic, so it might take you longer. Um, so it just sort of depends on when you start. But I will leave the link for you guys on the bottom to take the free quiz first, you know, see how you do. And then if you're still like, oh, I'm not sure, then this will help you so, so much. Uh, thank you guys so much for listening. And I, I believe I am now losing my voice. So I apologize about that. <clears throat> and I will uh, talk to you all soon. And let me know if you have any um, questions at all.